InkProducts.com has now released a new auto refill system that will actually refill the refillable cartridges while they're in the printer. Now when you get the, the new system, it comes with the refillable cartridges, the black tower, and everything it takes to install it. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to go through it in the video how you can uh, just buy parts and pieces. You can take your ex existing cartridges, refillables. There's three different types. You can use either one of those types to make this. Instead of taking a cartridge out and filling it up, putting it in, taking it out, all you have to do is add ink to the bottle. That'll sit outside the printer. You don't even have to take the cartridge completely out. Now you will have to lift the cartridge and reseed it, but you will not have to physically take it out and go and get the ink and fill it up. And there, it's going to come a couple different ways. You're going to get a tower ready to hook up to your cartridges with or without ink. You're going to get all the install parts and pieces with it. I'm going to show, the, show you how to do it in this video. So go to inkproducts.com for this latest newly designed auto refill system for your refillable cartridges. I'm going to show you how to build the auto refill system using your refillable cartridges. You either bought a set or you got a set. Even if you use them, you can still use them and do it. The only thing is you don't have to fill up the bottles. You'll still have to fill up the bottles, rather. But you're going to get all the parts and pieces. Basically, we're going to take the black label off, and we're going to mount a hose bracket like that. Then we'll assemble it. Now in here, that's the air holes. That's the fill holes. Now the fill holes are, and air holes close here. On some of them, they're spread apart. Doesn't matter. Okay, so we're going to use these little compression rings that are going to go in the air hole. And then the elbow is going to go in to the cartridge. So I'm going to peel the tape, stick this on. Now I'm holding it together with a rubber band. Makes it easier. And then I'll show you how to fill the bottles. And because these cartridges are empty, because you can buy that way if you have your own ink, or we supply one that's already built with ink, or we just supply this where you can use your own cartridges. So everything is in the kit, depending on which one you buy. You'll get the T bracket, you'll get the uh, hose bracket, you get, you're going to get a couple of priming syringes, uh, you'll get the bottles, obviously, with the isobaric chamber. Very simple to actually build this. I mean, 25, 30 minutes at the most. Now, like I said, if your cartridges are filled with ink, doesn't matter. Okay. Down, you can see I left about oh half an inch from the front. And this here, these plugs will come out. Now there again, if if you don't want to use the hoses eventually, you can just take the hoses off and you're back to refillable cartridges. So, but it's a lot easier just to pick a cartridge up and reseed it just a little bit than it is to take it out, get the ink out, fill it. I just think this is a much better way of doing it. Then you're going to put the hose in the bracket here. Then you're going to put your little compression rings in and push the elbows into it. That's it. I want to make sure that the plugs are in the correct order. So you look it upside down. So when you're plugging this end in, you're going into the correct color. So I got mine in the way it should go. And then I'm going to come over here, got my compression ring in. Now I don't, I don't push them all the way in. Let them up just a little bit. Now if you get them too far in and you push it, you can push them right in. Now, it's not going to hurt anything in the cartridge, but you'll have to use another compression ring. And we just give you one or two extra. So, you know, just mine that and take your 
take your time and push them all the way in but you want to track back your hose to make sure when you're plugged in the correct color they're going to line up otherwise you'll have to you'll cross your colors so once I get it in there then I just slowly push it down just easy makes a good tight fit see that's why I said you could just take them out and you got refillable cartridges okay now all the plugs are in the isobaric chamber you're gonna fill this up and then you're gonna take out the plug here pull up and prime it that's how you're gonna do it now if your cartridge has some ink in it you'll probably get a little bit more ink in the syringe you can just return it here you don't have to uh, waste it all depends how full they are now it makes no difference whether you have the small black or the big black it really doesn't because now you have the bottles there's enough ink in here to last most people a year so you're gonna if you if you fill it up you know you got about a year's worth of ink based on you know general printing the more sheet coverage you have obviously the more ink you're going to use a cup like this one of these old I cut a water bottle and then I use it because I can pour it in but you can have a you have a syringe if you want to you can add it you know come over here and add it with the syringe whichever you feel comfortable with or you could what I usually do is just move that out of the way and then I pour it in I start to use a syringe but you got to takes a longer time to do it that way whatever is easier for you well I got that color filled I put the syringe in that fill hole and then I'm gonna pull up and I'm gonna pull up as far as I can and you can see the inks running through the line okay I'm gonna pull it up pull it up and hold it now when it starts to lose its vacuum where it stays up there then I'm gonna take it out collapse the syringe in again and keep doing it till I put one cc of ink in that syringe now if ink is already in the cartridge you have to do it a little bit more because you're gonna get the ink from the cartridge to go in there so you gotta keep doing it to make sure you fill that cartridge with ink well, I got all ink up in there now you can see it running out of the thing in there and I'm gonna let it go I keep doing that a couple of times and that'll set and fill the cartridge get all the air out then I'll take this ink and return it to the bottle here and I'll put the plug back in that's all it took to prime up the cartridge do them all now let's let's say these are your cartridges and they've got some ink in them you don't want them full of, or you, you might want to take some ink out but because you're gonna have to have enough for the art the ink over here to go through the hose and come in there so you can't have too too much in there but then you would take the plug out you got ink in the bottles you got ink here and you go up and down with the syringe you bring it up let the plunger drop bring it up let it drop do that about four times and then whatever ink is in the syringe you can add back to the bottles and once that's in you can balance the bottles down and up in case you got any ink in the isobaric chamber and then when it's in the printer you can open up the air plug in the back that's important that's got to be opened that's got to be closed if you open both of them ink from here is going to go and fill the isobaric chamber so that's why we a lot of times will tell you lay the bottle down bring it up like the instructions always follow the instructions because it has changes that we might make now in another the other part of the video I show you how to install everything now it only works for certain models that take the T252 Epson cartridge or T254 none of the other Epson so don't buy it think you're gonna put it on a another Epson it's not gonna work 
because these chips on our cartridges reset after you get cannot recognize not low if you take it out when it's low it's just like your refillables and fill them and put it back printer's not going to go the, the level of ink is going to stay the same the only way it changes when it thinks that cartridge is out of ink and by the way our cartridges hold 12 milliliters of ink most of the Epsons hold between 8 and 10 so you're going to get plenty of ink the way I got it figured out there's enough ink between here and here for most people to print almost a year okay now I'm going to show you how to install it if you bought the complete system or if you're building it yourself using your refillable cartridges now this is the workforce 7710 installs the same on a 7720 on a 7210 it's a little different the hose bracket is the only difference but if you've had cartridge in there you have to remove this cartridge bracket I already took out the cartridge that were in there and I'm going to use a small blade screwdriver I'm going to go in here I'm going to spread it and this cover will come right off so you'll be able to take it off and then you'll be able to put your cartridges system in now again we're using refillable cartridges you can use pigment ink sublimation ink so if you do sublimation printed you can use these two now if you already have a set of cartridges then you can if they're refillable then you'll be able to buy our kit and just transfer the hose and everything on to the refillables that you have there's a couple different ways we're going to be selling it up there. Up. Now it's really simple. I mean, very simple. You're going to have one bracket right here in the center. Right here. You can see the little cutout. We're going to put it right between the cutout and the end of the printer. Sticks out like that. Peel and stick it right there. Basically right in the center of the printer. And then the only other thing you have to do is on the side here you're going to put a hose bracket and then another one for the excess hose now this is going to hold the little clip that we're going to give you so you can hang the system right off the side at the correct level like that this thing slides in there like that this comes in the kit and it's going to fit right into that little bracket like that then we're going to take our cartridges and just set them right in there and over there now I'll get the cartridges here in a minute and show putting them in okay now you can see I have the printer on and it's moved up to what I call a cartridge change position so now you can't move this so what I'm going to do is go and unplug it from the wall and now I'll be able to move it like that then you're going to take your cartridges your refillable cartridges and you're going to place them down in there just like you were going to be putting them in the advantage to this you don't have to take them out to fill them the bottles will do it automatically right into the right into these cartridges you'll see I like this a lot better than taking it out taking the syringe out the bottle and and all of that it's a lot easier a lot lot easier and you'll be able to close the lid no problem at all on the 7710 and the 7720 this large lid will be able to go down and won't hurt anything so then we're going to hook the cartridges right on there then I'm going to snap these in now when you get cannot recognize say yellow you'll unclick it lift it up slightly and push it back down ink level will reset back up to full and you'll keep printing if you see low ink low ink pay no attention to that that's just uh, a scare code to so you have to go to the store and buy a cartridge you'll keep printing till you get cannot recognize whatever color that comes up could be cyan you're gonna pick it up and put it down you're not gonna have to take it out just pick it up break the contact put it back down and now you'll see both plugs are in the only time you're going to have the big plugs open is when you're filling 
the bottles and you can view the ink on the side so when it gets down to about a one inch you should put ink in it then when it's printing or it's in the machine you always have the little plugs open they have to be open if they're not open the printer's not going to print and you could damage the printhead now if you accidentally pull both plugs out then you got to put it back on the table put them in and uh, do the balancing of the isobaric chamber because that's the isobaric chamber on this side the fill chamber is on the front so you don't want any ink to get into that that's why you keep these plugged when you're opening the big one okay now I got the cartridges in I'm going to go all the way over all the way as far as I can now I can bring the hose and put it in the main hose bracket make it come off nice come on over and you'll be able to put it in like that see nice and even and you're gonna run it along and you're gonna run it out and there's your other hose bracket and you can put them anywhere you like it's easier for you that's it we've installed it now like I said you only take the cartridge up to reset the ink level when you see cannot recognize not low ink ignore low ink and that light up front the air light will blink orange ignore it over I'm gonna go all the way over all the way as far as I can all the way over to the right hand side and you can see how the hose comes off wraps around and comes out now this way I'll be able to close the lid and then I'll be able to turn on the printer a plug here if you don't have that use a piece of paper I want to see it's going to think that the lid is open but when I put the plug in there it's going to show that the lid is closed so you want to get a, a little plug down there and then you'll get the Epson now also it's going to go back and forth so you can watch the travel now once you know everything's okay you can take that out it's going to go through its charging now even if you have a a little bit of air in the line don't worry about it don't worry about it if you see it up here or there don't get concerned because what's going to happen is it does cleaning and it starts to print the air is going to go into that cartridge it's going to rise that'll create what I call an air break so it's going to be ink air ink but as the printhead draws it in it's going to draw the ink in and the air won't have any effect the air will never get down into the printhead unless you run it out of ink off and I installed it and this is going to pop up it's going to say you can't recognize the cartridges that's because I did it when the printer was off so what I'm going to do is follow what it says the maintenance error take that plug or whatever I got in there out that's going to come over to the cartridge change position that says lift the scanner so if the scanner's closed lift it so if it was down closed you're going to lift it okay okay so when you get came right back I forgot to push okay now it's telling me lift the scanner you gotta pay attention to what it tells you okay now this is called the card change position so I'm gonna click them I'm gonna pull them up just a little bit now I'm gonna reseat them because I didn't seat them when it was under power. 
Okay, now I just reseated them. I can close it. That's going to go through a setup. <clears throat> now, if these are your refillables, or if you get them from us, doesn't matter. Now you can see. See the exclamation on the cyan magenta? That doesn't mean anything. Just ignore that. <clears throat> when you get cannot recognize, like on the yellow or the magenta or the black, then you're going to open the lid up. You'll always follow what it says. And then go in there, lift the cartridge up just like I did, and s set it back down. So it's saying, y'all, you didn't use genuine. Okay. I got to proceed. I got to say uh, yes. Replacement complete. Okay, that's it. That's how easy it was to install. You want to do a nozzle check before you install it. Because you can see this one is... I haven't used these, this printer probably in two months, maybe longer. So I can see I was losing a black there. I did one cleaning. Then I did a second cleaning. Show you here. I had the system installed when I was doing this. So, but if you don't get a good one after, before you install, you could drive yourself crazy there because um, it's the printer, not the system, or not what you're doing. You can see the sand's a little broken up. Here's my third one. Looks pretty good. I got one little mark there on the cyan. If you see that, ignore it. Don't try to clean that out because it'll fix itself. Because I just ran, because I've been doing a lot of 11 by 17. Now here I just did one on 11 by 17. And it's perfect. It's perfect. So, that's what you want to see. This is my very first copy after hooking up the uh, ink system to my refillables. Looking very good. I'm gonna i I'm gonna stop it for a minute. Just because I set it for I don't know how many. Okay. So I want to show you something here. I'm gonna lift this up. Go back over here to this interlock and I'm gonna put that in. Okay, now I can watch things happen. Now I got it set. Hit print again. And you can see how smooth this runs. And this, by the way, is 11 by 17 and I closed the lid. I'm using refillable cartridges, which I think are awesome. You know, rather than take them out, fill them up. Take them out, fill them up. I mean, it's a lot easier putting ink in the ink tank there. That's how simple it was. So I took my refillables and turned it into an auto refill system. And like I said, you'll get all the parts and pieces. You can do sublimation ink. You can use pigment ink. On the, some of the newer uh, Epsons like this, I don't recommend dye base. Because you'll have a lot of problems with your printhead. Our ink is American made certified ink. We design and build everything in the U.S. I can show you what happens. It says maintenance error. Cannot recognize the cartridge Try installing them again. Click OK. And you're going to open up the lid. And if there's a piece of paper still in there, it's going to kick it out. Going to be showing. It's the yellow. I've been running a lot of 11 by 17. And if there's a sheet in there, it'll kick it out when you do this. So it's going to come over to what they call 
cartridge change position. Just release, pick up, push it down. Close it up. There it goes. It's back. Now it shows your exclamation. It's full. That's how quick it was to reset the cartridge. Okay, then it asks you again, do you want to use the ink? Of course, say yes. You'll get proceed, then you'll go there, and now it'll go complete. Okay.